Good morning. Good morning to our online viewers joining us from home this morning. Today is the second Sunday of Easter, and today's Mass is being offered for our parish family. Today's second collection is our parish renovation and maintenance collection, and we do ask that you please take the sign to silence all cell phones and devices. And please join us for a gathering song, hymn number 723, Ye Watchers and Ye Holy Ones, number 723. Please stand. <laughs> In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Like Jesus' first disciples, we have this time after Easter to discover for ourselves the meaning of Jesus' death and resurrection. The risen one invites us to believe and asks us to forgive as he did in his divine mercy. Great favor was bestowed on the early Christian community of believers because of their faith. So let us rejoice and praise God for this great gift of faith and recall God's great mercy, which endures forever, while we call to mind our sins and the boundless grace of God our Father. Lord Jesus, you have conquered the power of sin and death. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, your mercy endures forever. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you give us life and hope in your resurrection. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory, Glory to, to God, God in the highest, highest and on earth peace to people of goodwill. Good we praise you, we bless you, we adore, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. God of everlasting mercy, in the very recurrence of the Paschal Feast, you kindle the faith of the people you have made your own. Increase the grace you have bestowed that all may grasp and rightly understand in what font they have been washed, by whose spirit they have been reborn, by whose blood they have been redeemed, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever.
a reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The community of believers was of one heart and mind, and no one claimed that any of his possessions was his own, but they had everything in common. With great power, the apostles bore witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great favor was accorded them all. There was no needy person among them, for those who owned property or houses would sell them, bring the proceeds of the sale, and put them at the feet of the apostles, and they were distributed to each according to need. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love is everlasting. Give thanks, Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love is everlasting. Let the house of Israel say, his mercy endures forever. Let the house of Aaron say, his mercy endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say, his mercy endures forever. Give, Give thanks, thanks to, the to the Lord, for he is good. His love is everlasting. I was hard pressed and was falling, but the Lord helped me. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and he has been my savior. The joyful shout of victory in the tents of the just. Give thanks, Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love is everlasting. The stone which the builders, builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done. It is wonderful in our eyes. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Give, give, give thanks, thanks to the Lord, to the Lord for, for he is good. His love, His love is everlasting. everlasting. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, Everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ is begotten by God. And everyone who loves the Father loves also the one begotten by him. In this way, we know that we love the children of God when we love God and obey his commandments. For the love of God is this, that we keep his commandments. And his commandments are not burdensome, for whoever is begotten by God conquers the world, and the victory that conquers the world is our faith. Who indeed is the victor over the world but the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? This is the one who came through water and blood, Jesus Christ, not by water alone, but by water and blood. The Spirit is the one that testifies, and the Spirit is truth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. be with you. With your A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Lord, Lord, to you, Lord. Lord. On the evening of that first day of the week, when the doors were locked where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, 
Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit, whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. Thomas, called Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples said to him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands, and put my finger into the nail marks, and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. Now a week later, his disciples were again inside, and Thomas was with them. Jesus came, although the doors were locked, and stood in their midst, and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here, and see my hands, and bring your hand, and put it into my side. And do not be unbelieving, but believe. Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you come to believe because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and have believed. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples that are not written in this book. But these are written that you may come to believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that through this belief, you may have life in his name. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. On Easter, we celebrated Jesus, the Son of God, who came among us and suffered and died for us and rose from the dead. We celebrated our faith and belief in the risen Christ. Our readings today call us to express our faith by responding to it and trusting in it and trusting in God's mercy. Today is also designated as Divine Mercy Sunday. I'll talk about a little bit about that throughout, um, a remark or two here and there throughout the gospel, throughout the uh, homily today. Now, the disciples who confronted the empty tomb on Easter responded to their faith by telling the other disciples that Jesus had risen. It was a kind of a missionary journey for them because they didn't all believe or understand until Jesus appeared in their midst. And when Jesus appeared to them after his resurrection, it wasn't just to show them that he, that Jesus was alive, but they too were alive with a new life and to teach them how to live it. Now the gospel said too that Jesus breathed on them like God's breath at the beginning of creation. Jesus recreated them and breathed into them a new life, uh, a way of peace and trust almost like St. John's vision of Pentecost. Now, Jesus sends them to continue his saving mission through them, and of course, ultimately, uh, through us. Through our works, our human actions, we respond to our faith. We live out our mission as followers of Jesus. Now, in the gospel, uh, Thomas uh, had a small problem with his faith. He did not want to believe what the others had been saying about a risen Christ. He wanted proof. He was doubtful, maybe even stubborn. But when Jesus appeared to the disciples when Thomas was with them, he greeted them with peace and went right to Thomas, 
showed them his hands and side and asked him to believe, to put his faith to the test, to completely trust in him, to be totally dependent on his grace and mercy. Thomas then isn't just reassured. He's full of joy and acknowledges Jesus as Lord and God. And that's how uh, Sister Mary Faustina, with her message of God's great merciful love, saw him. His hands held out to suffering man as she proclaimed him to people on all the continents. Now that peace that Jesus brought him satisfied and quenched Thomas's doubts and anxieties, and he was ready to accept Christ's invitation. Sometimes, though, um, we um, are, are even stubborn in our own belief. We have to thank God for His mercy, though, for it's there. It's ready to lift us from our unbelief and help us understand God's presence in our lives. Now, Jesus knows that um, in our stubbornness or, or in our times of unbelief, our heart is very fragile and often fails to accept his call to love one another or even trust in Jesus and his mercy. But the peace that Jesus gave his disciples was one that brought a sense of well-being that comes from believing in God and believing that he really is with us. It's a peace that enables us to live with upsetting things that unravel us, things that test our faith and the need to be firm and persistent. And like the disciples who had to live with persecution, we have to persevere in faith, never giving up. This peace, this unity with God is what drew people to the disciples in the early church. It's the peace that Sister Mary Faustina and her message of divine mercy prayed that we would discover if we would only put our trust in Jesus Christ. And the disciples' mission, of course, was to carry on this unifying journey. Again, is our mission as well. And it continues. Every time we profess and respond to our faith, every time we stand up for our faith, every time we baptize someone in our faith, and so we carry on the mission of the church that Jesus has entrusted to us. You know, Easter calls us to give in to God, even though we may not fully understand. Easter calls us to be a people of faith, to stop doubting the Lord or placing conditions on the Lord. Easter calls us to just trust in God and in the risen Christ unconditionally, despite whatever reasons not to. But like Thomas, we can overcome our doubts and fears and anxieties and let go of what gets in the way of God, <coughs> even though we cannot see him or fully understand. And then the peace that Jesus offers us can be ours, a peace that consoles us and helps us carry out the mission that Jesus gave us as we place our trust in him and in God's divine mercy and love. <clears throat> St. John Paul II at the canonization mass for Sister Mary, uh, St. Mary Faustina Kowalska, uh, announced that the second Sunday of Easter would be designated as Divine Mercy Sunday. And he writes, the message of divine mercy has always been near and dear to me. And it is written of him that in his writings and homilies, St. John Paul II described divine mercy as the answer to the world's problems and the message of the third millennium. Reflecting on St. John Paul II and Sister Mary Faustina, in his, in his words and her words, may we begin today and not tomorrow to persist in our belief, searching for the living and risen Christ, and with a determined sense of purpose, accept the challenge of our faith. Believe in Jesus, the Christ, the Son of the living God, so that through this belief, we will have life in his name, praying unceasingly to have mercy on us and the whole world.
I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us, for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, the life of the world to come. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Jesus Christ sends us into the world as the Father sent him. So in his holy name, let us pray for the needs of the world. For all members of the church throughout the world, that we may be renewed in peace and fellowship and reveal God's mercy and justice in our lives, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For those who serve and lead our nation, may the peace of the risen Lord reign in their hearts and minds. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For a spirit of generosity that all members of our parish might respond with prayers and gifts to this year's Diocese Partners in Charity Appeal. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For those who have lost or dealt the gift of their faith during these difficult times, may the presence of the risen Christ bring them understanding and hope. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For Judy Chapman, Ron Bruckman, Leo Padoni, Susan Brissett, Jerry Han, John Gow, Veronica Keating, Carol Wolf, Jennifer Dada, Mara Bennett, Don Meyer, Tom Ducham, John Lawrence Doyle, and the troubled and those in despair from sickness or suffering, may they find the consolation and comfort of the risen Lord. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all our relatives, friends, and parishioners who have died, may they rest in peace with all the angels and saints in heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our parish family for whom this Mass is offered, and for those intentions we silently place before our loving God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of mercy and love, you reveal your great love to all who seek you. Grant our prayers in the name of your gloriously risen Son, through the power of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. I surrender in the preparation of the gifts, the sin number 570, Alleluia number one, number 570. Jesus is 
Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands to the praise and glory of his name for our good and good of all his holy church. O Lord, accept the oblations of your people that renewed by confession of your name and by baptism they may attain unending happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to praise you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. <clears throat> He is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death. By rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land and every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Robert, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection 
and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with St. Christopher and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, O God Almighty Father, forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, so that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
On communion song is hymn number 371, Bread of Life, number 371. Friendships falter and crumble. Give us the courage to forgive that we may live in peace. Living word of oh Son of God, your love shows us the way. Let us pray. Almighty God, grant that our reception of this Paschal Sacrament may have a continuing effect in our minds and hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Glorify the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Have a good week. My concluding song is in number 178, Christ the Lord is Risen Today, number 178.
Oh, that's okay. It doesn't make any difference. Oh, no, that's fine. Not a problem. Good morning. Oh, it's the second thing. I didn't know what it was. Good morning. There's no second. Oh, it's, 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 it's,